Whoa, do you feel that? <gasps> What's that, lad? Anything, e everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. <laughs> One less careful, lad. off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here, against Odin, and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have helped that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Uh, did you see that over there? Channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes... You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. <laughs> Tyr was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the Rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. 
There's got to be a faster way to get down there.
Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartelfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Svartalfarm? Aye, lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear <clears throat> far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. <laughs> Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Fade Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Think we can fit under that bridge? Father, uh, up there. Oh, <laughs> 
Find anything good up there? Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus. That is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned.
Yikes. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around. Good thing you learned the runes, brother.
think that's everything here. Want to get going? Just, I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nether Valir. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Nisa! Gotta get behind it. But how? It must be a better vantage point. Somewhere we can attack it without it seeing us. See what it draw. Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. Uncover that geyser from here.
That's one of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimblewinter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the young brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. It only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why held that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, could we talk we to you don't for a trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. Nista!
that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for our replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah. Whew. Ah. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say Ski Alpha. Half the creepy crawlies in need of here. How was I supposed to know they were there? Stop up! Right side! Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Because of us? Oh, my. Yeah. Odin's grip on this realm is confirmed. Any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. <laughs> Another of Cavassia's poems. for grabbing that for us. At your service. I'll take him. to take that off your hands and wash it and it's covered in blood thanks what can I make for you
You okay? Or deep in thought? I'll leave you to it. Hey, what happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Be safe! Best of luck! Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. The tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. <laughs> Just keep moving. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to a subtle means of resistance.
This looks promising. Right? Well, that's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree, and you have a severed head on your head. None taken. Fair point, though. <sighs> Very well. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Hey! 